the unofficial start to Memorial Day and you're all here. The unofficial, it's official Memorial Day. It's the summer season that starts today. Are you guys ready for this game? Yeah! All right, Dr. Richard Besser, as you can see, is here. Not only are we unofficially starting the summer season, but sunburn season as well. So Dr. Besser, of course, out with that new book, Tell Me the Truth, Doctor. And if you don't have it, you want to get it. And, and so we like to play a game called Tell Me the Truth, Dr. B. And we're all ready here in the audience. They're going to try to answer these questions. The first up this morning is something that everybody always asks, and it's about the cost. And cue the music. There's the music yeah, to the I game. Love that. Is it worth the price you pay? Tell me is the correct answer. You get what you pay for when it comes to sunscreens. True or false? Yes or no? Yes. No. 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 Split decision. It is a split decision. The, the real answer is no. Actually, Consumer <laughs> Report. Yeah. Yeah. Consumer Reports did a study and they actually found that the Target Up and Up brand and the Walmart Equate brand were the best and those were the cheapest. Let me ask you about the sunscreen, the SPF lower than 15. <laughs> is there any point to sunscreen lower than an SPF 15? Yes or no? Yes. yes. See, again, yes. half and half, but he was emphatic. He said no in the back here. And he's absolutely correct. You know, anything below 15, yes. There we go. It was a no. Anything below 15 has to have a warning label now to say it does not protect you from cancer. And that's a, and that's a change. Anything above 50 doesn't provide additional protection. So between 15 and 50 is the way to go. All right, a couple more questions to go. I always wonder about this. Is there any truth to a waterproof sunscreen? Can it really be waterproof, yes or no? No. No. All right, no. half and half. They say yes. No. I see lots of no's, and no is correct. No. Water resistant, yes, but waterproof, no. And now the label has to tell you how long it will protect you once you go in the water. And so you have to put it on every couple hours. Make sure you're using enough of this stuff, but none of it is waterproof. When I read this this morning, I couldn't believe it. If you're in the sun for an entire day, you should use a half tube of lotion. Is that true? A half tube for the day, yes or no? They're saying yes. The answer is yes. It used to last me the entire summer. You have to use two tablespoons an ounce every couple hours, and that's going to be a half a tube a day. All right, tell me the truth, Dr. B. And the book is Tell Me the Truth. Doctor, we'll look for that.